All right, in this video we're going to uh, discuss adding and subtracting polynomials. All right, and the way to add polynomials is to uh, combine like terms. All right, so we're just going to do a few examples and to get that point across. All right, so simplify. So we have one polynomial, 3x squared minus 2x plus 4, plus a second polynomial, negative 7x squared minus x plus 5. We want to add these two polynomials together. All right, so the way we can do it is just literally to combine like terms. We have like 3x squared plus negative 7x squared that goes to negative 4x squared. And we have negative 2x plus a negative x, that's a minus 3x. And we have 4 plus 5, which gives us 9. And so this is the resultant polynomial when you add those first two polynomials together. Okay? Not too bad. Let's try a second one. All right, here we're going to add up these two polynomials. All right, a little longer, but still we have to combine like terms. We've got a negative 7x to the fourth here and a 1 half x to the fourth there, so we need to combine those. The question is, how do you add negative 7 and 1 half? You have to go over and add the fractions together, right? So negative 7 is the same thing as negative 14 halves, and negative 14 halves plus 1 half would be negative 13 halves x to the fourth. All right, so now I encourage you to go off to the side and make sure you understand where that negative 13 halves is coming from when you add the negative 7 plus the 1 half. All right, remember you have to get a common denominator when you add fractions. All right, then we got plus x cubed plus 4x cubed, so that would be what, plus 5x cubed. And then we let's see we have uh, we know x squared over here, but we do have a, a negative x squared there on the right, so negative x squared. And then we have a negative 5x plus a positive 7x, so that's going to go to a plus 2x. And then we have a positive 1 plus a negative 9, which goes to negative 8. And that is our resultant polynomial for adding up the first two polynomials. Right? Make sense? All right, so we're just combining like terms. All right, so to add polynomials, that's really all there is to it. You just combine up like terms. All right? Now, subtraction is similar, but we do need to put one more step in. All right, so here we're subtracting two polynomials. When we see this, there's, there's, this, there's this number that's out in front here, in front of the 4x squared minus 5. There's really, there's really a negative 1 out in front here, right? I mean, there's really a positive one out in front here, okay? But uh, you know, when we distribute the one through, it's just going to leave us the negative, the negative three x squared minus two x. You know, you just distribute that one through. So really, this first, the first uh, polynomial, it doesn't change. You just can get rid of the parentheses, right? But it's the second polynomial where we've got a bit of a dilemma. We really need to distribute this negative one through this polynomial. All right, so we'll take negative 1 uh, times 4x squared would be negative 4x squared. And then negative 1 times negative 5 would be a positive 5. It's very important that you, you put this step in before you combine up like terms. Otherwise, it's really too easy to make a sign error. Okay? So we didn't have to do that with the, with the previous example. Because on the previous example, it, it's, a, it's a plus 1 that's sitting in front there, right? And when you distribute the 1 through, well, it doesn't change anything, right? So you just combine like terms like we did. That's why we really didn't, didn't mess with it. But when we have the minus sign, you know, distributing a negative 1 through the polynomial does make a big difference because it changes the signs of everything. All right? Does that make sense? So please put that line in first and then combine up like terms. So we get negative 7x squared minus 2x plus 5. Negative 3x squared, negative 4x squared goes to negative 7x squared. There's nothing to add to the negative 2x, nothing to add to the 5. So that's as far as we got. All right, does that make sense? All right, let's do one more. All right. Now, the first polynomial we can just leave alone without the, and just drop the parentheses. 5x cubed minus two-thirds x squared plus one-fifth x plus two. And now we're going to distribute this negative one. Remember, there's a negative one in front here. Then we're going to distribute through. So the negative one times one-half x squared goes to a negative one-half x squared. Negative one times negative x goes to a 
positive x, and a negative 1 times 3 fourths goes to a negative 3 fourths. So we're going to put that line in first. Everybody agree? That's what I thought. All right, so everybody agrees. All right, so now combine like terms. Uh, all right, 5x cubed has got nothing else to combine with, so 5x cubed. All right, so we have negative 2 thirds x squared and a negative 1 half x squared. So we need to combine the negative 2 thirds and the negative 1 half. All right, so you go off to the side and you do you know, negative 2 thirds minus 1 half. LCD is 6, so negative 4, 6 minus 3, 6. This goes to negative 7, 6. So we have minus 7, 6 x squared. Everybody see that? All right, we'll do the same thing with the 1 fifth x and the x. You've got to do 1 fifth plus 1. So 1 fifth, common denominator here is 5. So 5 over 5, we rewrite 1, and that gives us 6 fifths. All right, so we have plus 6 fifths x. All right? And then what do we have? 2, we have 2, and then minus 3 fourths for the constant terms that are left over. So that's 8 fourths minus 3 fourths, which is going to go to a positive 5 fourths. All right, so we have 5x cubed minus 7x squared plus 6 fifths x plus 5 fourths is what all of this simplifies up to. All right, so Adding subtracting polynomials is really not, not too bad. The only thing to be careful of is when you have, when you're subtracting polynomials, um, distribute that negative 1 through the second polynomial there and change all those signs and then combine up like terms. Alright, that's it. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.